if you could use a tool to basically input your AI infrastructure requirements and it spits out a report with timelines and pricing, risk, et cetera, that you could just hand over to your team and say, decompose this. It wouldn't even be better if it was based off of a well-established AI infrastructure infrastructure or AI infrastructure model. You know what? Such a tool does exist. It is the CTO Advisor 4 Plus 1 Stack Builder, and it is based off of my IP around the 4 Plus 1 AI infrastructure model that I released a little bit over a month ago of the recording of this video. You can see the link in the tools interface to visit the tool is virtual.dev the cto advisor.com either click on stack builder or hashtag stack builder in your url we're going to begin building the layers it is based off of nine simple questions i guess from a wording perspective but these are again decision points that you have to make or that you have to feed it based on your existing infrastructure we're going to go with one of the simplest routes and say that we're all in cloud we're going to choose google cloud as our primary cloud we are going to dictate what we're going to use our ai infrastructure we're going to use it for retrieval applications and inferencing that scale. We're not going to do much training or fine tuning. We're going to say that we have a new a small team. We don't have a Kubernetes cluster. This is, again, basically a, an existing environment, but we're not going to use any of our legacy infrastructure or resources you can and you'll get a much more robust report as a result budget let's start with a modest budget for ai 100,000 to 500,000 we are going to do this in the next uh, the next quarter again this is to assess risk some historical data collection to help me understand what people are doing out there our number one concern because we are using cloud is developer velocity what are our considerations from a operations perspective and you know high data egress costs are always and of course we really want our developers not waiting on infrastructure so again developer velocity and you know what for the my security and compliance related folks out there you know what let's let's go with agents can't access government data safely all right so this gets us to what do we need to build and what are the critical layers? Always layer 2C is a must have requirement in my framework, generally speaking. And any additional required layers. And now we're going to do a vendor search for what's out there. This is a real time search. This is it based off of a fixed model in the background. I'm using Google Cloud Search plus Gemini 2.5 Pro to do an active search for each layer. That is going to come back with a set of solutions and a high level cost model for each solution we select based on what public information the AI will retrieve. So with that said, it takes a relative long time to when you're using ai with let's say a chat gtp or perplexity it takes about two minutes or a minute and a half as you can see so obviously we're going to fulfill a lot of our requirement with google cloud vertex you see the interface update automatically with, with what's missing so we've covered our 2c our 1a in our 2B, we now need to cover our 2A infrastructure orchestration. And here we can go with some type of best of breed solution. Let's go run AI on GKE. In addition to that, let's say that there's a solution that you have on premises already that is not shown. 
we can ask the AI a question, virtual CTO advisor. We can say, we are a NetApp shop and need NetApp for our storage leader. Hit send, there will be an option to regenerate the selection based on our chat session with virtual CTO advisor. So yes, this is integrated with virtual CTO advisor. Once we have all of our vendors selected, we'll go to continue with selected vendors. It'll validate that we've had all of our layers covered, and then we'll generate the roadmap. Generating the roadmap takes roughly about two minutes. Again, this is some pretty heavy lifting we're doing in the background. All right, now here's our report. This is the HTML form of it. We have everything you would expect in a detailed report from a virtual CTO or a full time CTO. Estimated cost, timeline, risk, failure modes, uh, your 2C reasoning plan audit. I'm playing around a little bit with the scoring on this, but again, your 2C audit your overall architecture, a cost analysis, and you can download this as a PDF. There is no type of information wall. Let's say you have further questions. You can ask virtual CTO advisor additional questions around the complexity or clarifications within this report. I'd love to hear feedback about this tool. What do you think about it? Is it useful? You can hit the contact Keith button or just simply email me Keith at, at ADVbench.com.